one of the other claims I touched on is that Israel's committing genocide or ethnic cleansing, which are terms that are, they've lost all meaning. Um, they've become just a word to demonize someone you disagree with. Um, same thing with accusing Israelis of being Nazis. Robert, maybe we could talk about, or you could talk about um, Israel's policy when they target a civilian center to um, annihilate a Hamas cell. What measures does Israel take um, to protect civilian life? And then what does Hamas do to make sure that their civilians are still used as human shields? Well, as you said, Dominique, the idea that the, this is genocide is really a, an exercise in, um, you know, in invented vocabulary, right? There is a genocide means something. There is a definition to that word. And it means typically the attempted destruction of a people in whole or in part. Mm -hmm. And Israel is not committing genocide. If Israel was committing genocide, it would be attempting to destroy the Palestinian people in whole or in part. Why do I know that they are not committing genocide? Because even though they could mm -hmm. flatten the Gaza Strip in a matter of hours, they have not done it. And I don't even just mean in this latest conflict. I'm talking about in the previous conflicts, right? 2009, what was it? 2011, 2014. I mean, this is every few years that Hamas uh, strikes against Israel unprovoked, as always. And Israel, although it very easily could, I'm just saying technologically, mm -hmm. practically speaking, they could destroy everybody inside the Gaza Strip and they don't, mm -hmm. right? Right. That, that means that they're not committing genocide. What they are trying to do is dislodge Hamas, destroy its base of power, destroy Hamas if possible, mm -hmm. um, in the Gaza Strip when Hamas has embedded itself, its weapons, its munitions, its people inside, among, and underneath the civilian population. Mm -hmm. We saw just a few days ago the, the bombing in Jabalia refugee camp right? The idea is that Israel was bored and thought, let's bomb some, some civilian refugees. Civilians died in that bombing. It's being investigated. I'll be interested to see uh, more uh, as far as details on, on how that came about and what they were targeting. But what I've seen is that many of the people died because a massive hole opened up beneath their feet and people fell into it. Mm -hmm. There was a huge underground network mm -hmm. of tunnels, a command position um, controlled by Hamas underneath the refugee camp. Now, do you think it was accidental <laughs> that Hamas put its a command uh, position underneath the refugee camp? No, it was on purpose. Mm -hmm. Because why? Because Hamas knows that Israel doesn't commit genocide. The same reason why they put their headquarters under the Al-Shifa hospital right? Because they know better than people in the West who are right now marching in the streets that Israel is not going to bomb a hospital on purpose, mm -hmm. right? Hamas's behavior, their strategy is the best, best proof that Israel does not commit genocide. They love human shields. There uh, was a video that's still out there circulating from Ismail Haniyeh saying that we will pay whatever price we need to in Palestinian blood. Mm -hmm. And what he means by that is civilian blood. Mm -hmm. It's the same reason why Hamas has blockaded residents of the northern Gaza Strip and forbid them from escaping from the war zone. Israel spent days warning Palestinians, get out of the war zone, get out of the war zone. There's going to be a war and we don't want to kill you. They sent leaflets, they, they made phone calls, text messages, and there's some audio out there from some of those phone calls in which the Palestinians on the other end say, I would, but I can't. Hamas has blocked the roads. Mm -hmm. Why is Hamas blocking the roads? Because civilian casualties piling up body after body are an effective part of the strategy. So it's great PR. Yeah. Hamas knows that the international community will flip out when civilians die. And so they put their civilians in the front. I mean, can you imagine that that's a strategy to kill your own people? Mm -hmm. that's how much hatred they have for the Jews. And again, here too, it's religiously motivated. He said, we are a nation of martyrs. We're known for that. We will die because it's what God wants. We are doing a service. 
We are fulfilling a divine command by dying and allowing our civilians to die. Yeah. This is the mentality of the other side. And this is why it's so important to understand it. 